This afternoon, we're waiting to see when suspended Norfolk City Treasurer Anthony Burfoot plans to turn himself in. He's got about two more hours to do so. Our Deanna LeBlanc is in Norfolk right now, and Deanna, he has until 2 o'clock to turn himself in. Right, Katie, that's the time the judge ordered uh, on Monday was that he had until 2 o'clock this afternoon to self-surrender. So we do expect him to show up at any point in the next two hours. There's only one way in and one way out of the courtroom. It's the, the, the doors behind me, so we're keeping a close eye on that. And again, Anthony Burfoot is expected to turn himself in, and then he'll spend six years in prison. Now, Burfoot was sentenced back on Monday afternoon, but the judge gave him 48 hours to get his affairs in order. Now, while in court on Monday, it appeared Burfoot Burfoot was going to go right into the custody, but then he asked for some time. He said to help his aging mother get her own affairs together. His father recently passed away. Burfoot's lawyer spoke to 10 on your side after the sentencing Monday. He still disagrees with the conviction and maintains Burfoot is innocent, but he said he was grateful the judge gave him those two extra days to be with his family. That also makes a big difference, just psychologically and mentally and emotionally, to allow somebody a little bit of time and space to prepare themselves. I think that was a very, very kind act, a very fair act, and given his mother's situation, uh, it, that, that makes a big difference. And again, we're just keeping our eye here on the door to the federal courthouse. We do expect Anthony Burfoot to show up here and self-surrender no later than 2 o'clock this afternoon. He'll go inside into the U.S. Marshal's office, and then he will be transported to prison. Live in Norfolk, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. 10 on your side.